9.940, the talk of central Queensland with Yvonne Alleyman, 17 past seven. Now, if you're a small construction business, you figure you're lost in the marketing minefield, uh, you need to do more things to save time, money, plus have an edge over competitors, then you want to register for the Construction Industry Small Business Workshops. Now, they're coming up on Thursday, March 18, so that's tomorrow week, and featuring at the workshops is marketing consultant and business mentor, Rudy Tartaglia. He joins me now. Rudy, great to talk to you. Hi, Aaron. How are you? Terrific. Um, a great opportunity to come to Central Queensland. You, you come here regularly, though, don't you? I do. I do. Look, before COVID, I was there, you know, every uh, every two weeks. Everything has either, no, either, a, either a before COVID or after COVID <laughs> context, doesn't it? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you hope to cover in a workshop like this? Oh, look, we're going to cover uh, some critical elements. So we're going to look at branding, uh, so how businesses can successfully position their business. We're going to look at marketing, uh, how they can, how businesses can cut through an extremely cluttered marketplace with uh, compelling messages. We're also going to look at uh, customer journeys, so how businesses can actually take their client through the right journey that's going to suit the customer and their business. And we're, of course, going to look at digital technology and automation, so looking at operational processes that can potentially be automated. Cool, I'm tired just thinking about that. That's a lot there, but yes, that's what we're going to be covering. It's interesting, and I mean, you obviously brought up COVID. Did all that get confused over the last year? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And like you said, people are talking about pre-COVID and post-COVID, uh, but really the fundamental elements still apply in business. We need to get back to those because we're eventually going to get back to business as, as usual. Yep. And uh, and so it's important that we, um, you know, we take those learnings that we had before COVID happened and we bring them now into what we do in the business in the future. So a seminar like this, a workshop like this at this point in time is perfect because it's almost like a reset, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, when you think about the marketing side of things, uh, people are getting exposed to that many messages per day now. Yeah. And, uh, and back in the 70s, there was a study done. It was conservatively estimated around like 500 messages a day. And it would be spectacularly more than that now because of digital. And so within, you know, a minute or so, our consumers can have our competitor and ourselves up on the internet, looking at social media profiles, looking at websites, and they're basically judging uh, and looking for credibility, validity, and the social proof around that business. And so... Uh, there's a little bit of a Darwinian <laughs> element to it. Yeah. Only the fittest, the strongest, and the most adaptable businesses will survive. Uh, and so hopefully this workshop will show businesses how they can use their branding and marketing to stay afloat and thrive. You want to be out there. You want to have your name out there. But why else is branding and marketing important? Well, I guess for the, the reasons I just mentioned, mm. uh you know, and a lot of businesses, I guess, become a little bit idealistic about it. They think, well, I've been going 20, 30 years or my, my father started this business. And marketing is all about psychology. It doesn't really matter what we think. It matters what the market thinks. And if we don't understand the tools to actually compel people to want to do business with us above everyone else that's in a crowded marketplace, then that's going to be an issue for us uh, moving forward. And digital is such a, a, a big part of it, isn't it? I mean, how can digital automation help? Yeah, well, look, and this is just my experience, you know. I've been working as a consultant for a while and businesses tend to look for the big elephant that's going to come and crush them, right? It's going to walk in the room and just <laughs> annihilate their business. And that can happen. There can be, you know, economic shifts or there can be major competitors that come in, but for the most part, it's not the big elephant that kills the business. It's the thousand little mosquito bites that erode that business mm. over time. It's bad operational process. It's poor customer service. It's not having a customer journey. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's not looking at the, the foundation skills that you require to keep that business going operationally. And uh, that's where we look at 
at the digital automation. The technology is out there now to help businesses to remove a lot of the work and make it more efficient. And so we're going to cover those things because all those elements I mentioned before, they directly correlate with profitability and revenue. And so hopefully we can give some businesses assistance on how they can better automate all of their digital. Well, we spoke to uh, to Neil Lethlane from uh, Capricorn Enterprise the other day and he was uh, expecting these to book out pretty quickly because there's only about 20 positions, isn't there? That's my understanding, yeah. yeah. So, get, yeah, getting quick. I mean, this is a great opportunity where industry has come together to provide something back to business to support them. All right. Uh, and that's, uh, that, that can be quite rare. <laughs> uh, so I, I, w- I would be taking advantage of it. Rudy, looking forward to seeing you in town next Thursday. We'll catch up between now and then. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it. There we go. Uh, marketing consultant and business mentor, Rudy Tartaglia. Um, two sessions next Thursday. Um, there's the one between 8.30 and 12.30 and then one between five, 1 and 5. Workshops are free. Register now, 4927 or capricornenterprise.com.au. Ice.